This is a basic introduction to InnoVice's InfoSewer. InfoSewer is an ArcMap extension. You can see what extension is being used by going to Customize Extensions for ArcMap. And all of the InnoVice products will be showing up here along with other extensions like Spatial Analyst and 3D Analyst. The structure of the model is set up so that um, you see the layers. We have a manhole layer, a chamber layer, which is for force mains, outlet for outfalls, wet well for storage wet wells going to a pump, uh, pipes, we have two types of pipes. We have gravity main pipes, force main pipes, which uses Hayes and Williams friction loss. Pumps, there's three types of pumps, constant, two, uh, two values, and a three value point pump. You can add in various layers. For example, we have a layer of uh, contour layer here. Or you can have a base map from, from um, Esri if you have the right spatial coordinates on your model. The structure of the, of, this, of the system basically is you click on a node and you see for that node what the different manhole da data is. And you basically have four or, or ten different loads Plus we have, if you're using InfoSewer Pro or H2O Map Sewer Pro, you have also um, flows coming in from wet weather or RDII or infiltration into the pipes. Click on a different link or node, you'll see that uh, the type of the node is, is, is based on the information. So information determines what type of pipe or what type of node there is. Click on a link and we can see what happens in the link. So um, you have your invert elevations, your, 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 your length, your diameter in inches or millimeters if you're using um, SI units and a friction loss coefficient. You can also have parallel pipes. When you run the model, you use uh, the run manager. And run manager is very unique inside of um, InfoSewer. It, it's, it uses steady state. And that's a true steady state. It's not a it's not a quasi steady state. It, it it solves for the link in the nodes together in a two pass solution. Then we have design. Design uses um, either existing or um, or future future uh, pipes to to uh, optimize the pipe capacity based on d over d values, flows. Q over Qs, et cetera. And then we have EPS simulations where you have um, flows coming into the model. So we'll switch over here to steady state, run the model. If there's a green light, then it means the model worked correctly. You can click on the notepad to see what the results of the model were. Also, if you're in steady state and you ran the model, you click on any link or node, it tells you what the output was for the steady state. There's a total flow coming in here. And we also have an output manager. So we go to the output manager. And we have a steady state graphs, which is basically just the profile plots or reserve capacity or a tabular report. So if I wanted to find out what the um, flows were in the in the in the um, gravity mains, click on static gravity main, highlight all the uh, pipes, and we come up with a table of all of the different flows, storm flows, whether it's uh, surcharge or not surcharge, etc. The 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 D over D, the Q over Q, the water depth, etc. In the model. Same thing for study, for EPS rather. If we go over here to EPS, solve the model. We'll usually run the model for a set period of 24 hours or 48 hours. Same idea, we click on the notepad, see what the results were. This one also has a continuity error, so it tells you what the continuity error was for the model over, over time. If we do the EPS, we also have a we also have other graphs that you can look at. All right, so that's a brief introduction to InfoSewer. So this is InfoSewer part part A.